I've never seen such an amazing update that is so riveting, yet disappointing at the same time. I know something being both at once is difficult, but they pulled it off. Housekeeping first, the Slender the Arrival Anniversary update is available to all previous owners of the original game on PC, and next-gen console players can purchase the game separately as a different download. The price has gone up from $9.99 to $19.99, hence the review. There is also an extra unlockable level added to the game, but man, the graphical difference from the original to the update is fantastic. Look at the comparison, it's just insane. Just a disclaimer, this footage is on the Xbox Series S, since that was the only reliable way I could get footage. But keep in mind that the PC version is obviously way better looking. I have played both. Another very important thing to mention is that this update is not forced on you. On console, it has a different application, and on PC, you can actually switch back to the Unity version by right-clicking the game in your Steam library, properties, betas, and selecting the version from there. Now, into the review. The lighting was already pretty good for the time, but now it's been taken to a whole nother level. Transitioning from Unity to Unreal Engine 5 is like night and day. I've noticed some trees looking a little odd, but for the most part, it's amazing. But it's not just a graphical overhaul alone, some environments have been altered to be more realistic in scale. The Coleman Mine being a perfect example of this. More boxes, barrels, fences, switched up floors with different footstep sounds, outdoor areas transformed with extra rock formations, some areas are more claustrophobic feeling, there's a lot of attention to detail here. The outdoor weather effects are better than ever, and the game loves to play with fog. There are some models and animations that can kinda just be boosted looking, not really remade. Kate jumping on you or modeling the window level, but aside from that, everything has been enhanced greatly. If you're wanting to return for the graphical overhaul alone, I promise you won't be disappointed. Now the game itself is largely unchanged. There are some details here and there, but everything is basically graphical in this version. The game is brilliant in the department of atmosphere and tension. It has good scares, but the survival dread element are where it shines. I promise you'll get something out of it. The gameplay may be simple, but it keeps you engaged with different environments and objectives. It's more than just a running simulator simply due to how Slenderman himself functions. I'll get to the new content in a second, but in regards to performance, I had no issues on console. And keep in mind, I'm technically using the weakest console of the bunch. On PC, I was scared that this game would run like trash, but considering the powerful engine it's running on, it actually runs pretty well. There's a lot of settings to mess around with for weaker machines, but keep in mind that this is still a strong performance required game. Crappy laptops and crappy PCs likely won't cut it anymore. Even on low settings, I wasn't really keeping 60 FPS a lot of the time, but the game is so beautiful that I did not mind pumping up the graphics for 30. But I do have a pretty crappy PC, especially as time goes on, so keep that in mind. Now how was the new chapter we got? Well, I won't spoil it, but I kinda hated it. If this is what you're buying into, you'll be extremely disappointed, maybe even a little angry. Every level in Slender the Arrival has some kind of challenge or obstacle associated with it. Collect pages, activate generators, close windows, survive a demon child, and get through the blazing forest. But this level has no obstacle, aside from one little dumb thing that lasts for like 10 seconds. This level is supposed to raise mystery and tension, but it really just comes off as lazy if you ask me. It reminds me of Layers of Fear, a game I absolutely despise for varying reasons. It's a walking simulator. The rest of the game may not be, but this is. That's all it is. If this is the quality we can expect from the DLC chapters, I can't say I'm too excited. Don't get me wrong, the story implications are pretty cool, but if it's not fun to play, then what's the point? It doesn't help that the chapter did not scare me hardly at all, but that is a very personal thing. Now with this update comes more promises of content. We have multiplayer and mod support coming, supposedly for free, which is awesome, and as previously stated, DLC chapters. We'll see what the future holds for Slender. Fingers crossed that these updates will bring back the glory days of Slenderman. I recommend this game, just because the base Slender the Arrival is already an underappreciated gem, but don't bank on that new chapter. It's kinda crap. That's everything you beautiful buyers need to know about Slender the Arrival Anniversary Update. Let me know what you're thinking about this whole situation in the comments. Yeet.